Hi all. Uh, just we will continue next session. So last uh, last session we have discussed that array is homogeneous type. In which condition and when array is ho uh, sorry heterogeneous type. So last session we have discussed array is homogeneous type. So just I will give you uh, one more example regarding this homogeneous type. Like if you will create in in the type of an array. Okay and we have given the size is 5 okay so if you are store a of 0 equal to 1 okay a of 1 equal to a of 1 equal to 2 a of 2 equal to 4 a of 3 equal to if you will store like 1.5 f so here you will get compile time error here you will get compile time error. Why we will get compile time error? Because we cannot store different type of an array. So this behavior is called homogeneous type. So last session I have given one example regarding homogeneous type. So in this session we will discuss array is heterogeneous type. So array is homogeneous type or heterogeneous type. If you want to store different type of the data like we have a class emp okay and we have a class a student okay we have a class a student and we have a class we have a class called uh, animal okay so these are the classes so if you want to store different type of an object then we will go for object class of an array so what is the object class of an array so we have a object class we will create object class of an array okay new object I took 5. Sorry, give me one second. So, if you want to store different type employee type, a student type, animal type, then we should go for object type of an array. So, object class, object is a class, object is a class which is available in java.lang package. Okay, I, I am going to take location 5 or size 5. So what is the object? Object is a class which is available in java.land package. So inside this object you can store any type of the data. Okay, like obj, obj1 equal to new employee. Okay, obj, uh, sorry, 0, 1 equal to new uh, student. Okay, obj, obj of 2 equal to new animal. Okay, obj, obj. 3 equal to obj3 equal to I am going to store uh, you know here a string type like mk obj4 I am going to store integer type so this behavior this behavior is called this behavior is called heterogeneous type means if you want to store different type employee is the different type a student is the different type animal is the different type a string is the different type and integer is the different type if you want to store different type of the data then we should go for object type of an array so internally what is going to happen here so here it will it will one object is created 
sorry, you keep it. One object is created. We have given the location five. We have a location five. So here all are the object object right. So here it will default value is none. Default value none. Got it right. So now here default value is by default is a story. Here we have a obj. So here obj obj this is your reference variable ten 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 ten. It will point here. So I am going to a store here, employee type. Right. So this is your employee type. Uh, zero zero emp. Okay. So here, what the value will store? Okay. Here, it will store ten ten. Okay. Now here we have a, a student type. So value will be here. This. Referenced will store here. Okay, so here we have a animal type. So object this reference and here it will store this thirty thirty. Here we have a a string type mk. Okay, so here it will store forty forty. Right. So here it will store forty forty. This null will replace. Here we have a one. It will store like that. So this behavior is called heterogeneous type. So what is the conclusion of this question? Array is homogeneous type or heterogeneous type. So your answer is which type of array you are going to create? If you are going to create object type of an array, so this behavior is called heterogeneous type. Heterogeneous type means inside this object you can store multiple type of object. Any type, so this behavior is called heterogeneous type. If you are going to create a same type of an array like employee type, you know, animal type, a student type, then we cannot store the different type of an object or element. So this behavior is called homogeneous type. Okay, I think you will get some clear picture idea about of homogeneous and heterogeneous. So I'm going to stop this session. Thank you so much for watching this video.